Tuesday night gives us a top 15 matchup in the Big 12. And national recruiting analyst Brandon Jenkins is here to preview this game. Brandon, two of the top three scores in the conference on the floor in this one. What's your key player matchup to watch here? Absolutely. Like you mentioned, two of the top three scores. You have first starting off with All-American Jalen Wilson. He's been very consistent for Kansas, being their best player day in and day out. He's really taken on the challenge of you know, just being their primary option offensively. So expect him to continue his uh, his level of production and have a big game for Kansas. And then with Keontae Johnson, I mean, nobody was expecting this dude to have um, as productive as the season as he's having. Nobody even expected him to play college basketball again. So for him to give the energy that Kansas State has had and shocking you know, the country and being a top 15 in the country, um, they have a great chance of winning when he's at his best. So um, look for those two primarily. And then the point guard play. Um, you have Marquise Noel, one of the top assist men in the country. Um, if he's at his best alongside Johnson, then they obviously have a great chance to you know, shock Kansas and pull off an upset. Um, but at the end of the day, I see DeJuan Harris on the other end leading his offense and getting the best out of his players um, just, as bit, just being an extension of Bill Self on the court. K-State coming off that blowout loss to TCU. What's the key for a bounce back win here? Absolutely. The, just uh, the two players performing at the best of their ability alongside with their supporting cast. You know, they're known for being the underdogs, but right now everybody everybody sees them as a, as a, target, as a target to beat. So Kansas won't look at them as no slouch. So for everybody to perform at their best of their ability, that's how Kansas State can, you know, get this, get this job done. As for Kansas, the Jayhawks are 6-0 and in games decided by five points or fewer or in overtime this season. Obviously, you'll take the wins. Close wins are great, but you'd rather avoid it. So what's the key to a more comfortable win here? Yeah, like you said, not remaining complacent. I think Jalen Wilson had a quote at the end of the Iowa State game where he said that they're, they're confident that they can win games that way, but at the end of the day, you never know what may happen in those final two minutes. Um, so just uh, them making sure that their energy is up at the start of the game and just carrying it on throughout those 40, uh, those, the full 40 minutes will, um, will keep Kansas in a good place and should keep them undefeated in the Big 12. What about some NBA prospects to keep an eye on? Absolutely. Uh, I think there's two. The two primary ones are on Kansas' side. Look at Grady Dick. Um, he's a freshman who can really, really shoot the cover off the ball. He's one of the best shooters in this upcoming year's draft class. Um, he's been consistent with his outputs on making open shots and also showing his athleticism and getting to the rim and finishing in transition. Um, and then, um, like mentioned before, Jalen Wilson, he's a, a National Player of the Year candidate who's just remained consistent, not only on the glass, but what he's been doing offens efficiently offensively. And so uh, just his 20 points per night and nine rebounds a night would be very needed for Kansas to get this W. All right. And finally, who's your pick to win this one? I got to lean with Kansas. Uh, you know, Bill Self just just knows how to win, and his players are individually bought in and knowing what to do um, to ensure that their team gets the job done um, once the clock turns zero. So I see Kansas pulling this one out, but uh, expect Kansas State to give a strong fight. All right, thanks for your time, Brandon. And for more college basketball news and analysis, be sure to subscribe to the 24-7 Sports YouTube channel.